Hello YouTube. Um, this is a tutorial for the Rubik's Domino or the 3x3x2. It's not actually Rubik's brand of course. Uh, it's a QJ 3x2x2 or 3x3x2 sorry there. Um, I don't see any really good solid tutorials on this on YouTube. So I'm going to make one today. Okay, so first things first, got to scramble up your, you know, your 3 by 3 by 2 Scramble it really good. Okay, one prerequisite for this video is you have to be able to solve a regular 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. Okay, so for those of you who do solve the Rubik's Cube, assuming you use a uh, Friedrich-like method, the first step that you should know is you have to solve the cross. So we're going to solve the cross on the white side of mine. If yours has a different color scheme, don't worry about it. So um, one thing that you notice is there are no centerpieces. So you have to know your color scheme. A good way to tell that is red will always be to the right of blue on your cross and then red opposite orange blue opposite green so for this one uh, it's actually you know a really simple cross uh, red next to blue red opposite orange sorry orange is a little weird on this cube uh, and blue opposite green so that's fairly intuitive and I won't go to, into a lot of depth on that the next step is to place your corners so what you do is you look for a corner in the top layer and you place it over where it needs to be. So this piece is over top, the red, green, white is over top of where it's supposed to go, and you perform this algorithm. And my form of the notation for this, if I say R or F or L or B, that just means R2, F2, because you that's the only way the cube can turn. You can't just do an R move, or else you can't move any of the other pieces. So when I say R, I mean R2. So, it's over top, and you put your piece over there, and you do R, U, R, U, I, R. And that put that piece right where it's supposed to go. So find another one, and you do the same thing. R, U, R, U, I, R. One more, R, U, R, U, I, R. Last piece, R, U, R, U, I, R. Now, um, occasionally you have them all in, but a couple will be in the wrong place. Just put a random piece from the top and random corner from the top, and then that'll pull one of these out and, you know, so on and so forth. You know this from the Rubik's Cube if you used any sort of uh, beginner's method where the middle layer edges and the corners were separate. Okay, next step is uh, permutation of the corners. So on this cube you always have two corners that are right. Uh, they might be diagonal from each other and if they are so uh, you won't really see any pairs. Um, but what you use is basically a T permutation for the Friedrich method. Well, it is a T permutation on this cube, but since we're not worried about the edges yet, it just, for all intents and purposes, just switches two corners on your right-hand side. The text for this algorithm will be in the comments section, so I will not say it. I will just show you it. So you put the two corners that you want switched in your right-hand side, and you perform this algorithm. That was not the correct algorithm. I am sorry. I just learned this today. One more try there. R U R U I R. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so as you see, our edge pairings are correct. That algorithm that I showed uh, came come up later. You only really need two algorithms for this whole thing. The next step is the edges. Uh, so basically what you do here is you have an algorithm that there are two algorithms for this one of them really isn't an algorithm um oh by the way that first algorithm i did that swapped the two corners that will be called uh permutation number one, or yeah last layer algorithm number one and it will be in the comment section 
So the next step, as I said, is solving the edges. This algorithm that I will show you will swap two edges, okay? Two edges right here, and that is the one I did before. Um, so what you do is, you do, once again, it'll be in the comments, just... And that swapped these two. Uh, and you will do that for all this. The next one swaps this one and this one. So what you do for that is it's just R, U, 2, R, U, 2, R, U, 2. And that will switch these two edges. Any combination of the one that switches these two and these two will solve the cube. An example of one uh, corner edges of last layer thing you'll see is uh, this. You will not see that, sorry. You do. You might see something like this, which is what you would call a Z permutation on a Rubik's Cube. Like this. All you do to solve that is using two of the this the corner algorithm that switches these two so that's um just you know who i showed before the uh algorithm text is in the comments and then one more time and by now you should have your rubik's domino solved um, thank you for watching. Uh, questions, comments, concerns, please put in the comments section. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if Once again, if you have any questions, I can always post follow-up videos explaining something in more depth. But uh, for the most part, that should do it. So uh, thank you once again, and goodbye.